William Herschel had been charting stars, and when one star moved, he investigated. On March 3, 1781, when he further investigated this unusual body, he discovered that it was a planet, Uranus. In 1845, Urbain Le Verrier was studying celestial mechanics when he shifted his focus to the unusual orbit of the planet Uranus. To explain this, Le Verrier assumed there was another planetary body beyond Uranus. Using this assumption, Le Verrier calculated this planet's magnitude and position. He gave his findings to German astronomer Johann Gottfried Gall, who, using Le Verrier's calculations, searched for the planet. On September 23, 1846, while Johann was searching, he found the next planet of our solar system, Neptune. Astronomer William Herschel's discovery of Uranus and astronomers Urbain Le Verrier and Johann Gottfried Gall's discovery of Neptune are important to astronomical history and the exploration of space in the universe, including the study of Earth and other planets, because it gives humans insight on the workings of planets so that, one day, humans can be able to inhabit other planets. William Herschel was born on November 15, 1738 in Hanover, Germany. Isaac Herschel was his father, and Anna Elise Moritzen was his mother. William's most notable sibling was his sister Caroline Lucretta Herschel. Caroline eventually went on to become the first woman astronomer to observe a comet. William, at the age of 14, joined his father in the military band. In 1756, William and Isaac's army unit went to England. While he was in England, William took up learning English. However, when the troopers were called to war, William fled. When William returned, they had no use for him, so he returned to England. Once in England, William started to pursue other interests, such as astronomy, and he began to construct his own telescopes. In 1766, he started to study the heavens and chart stars. Urbain Jean Joseph Le Verrier was born in St. Lô, France, in 1811. His father was Louis Baptiste Le Verrier, and his mother was Marie Jean Josephine Baudre. At the age of eight, Urbain began his studies at the college in St. Lô. Urbain completed his studies there at the age of 16. Urbain then moved on and studied math at College Royal de Caen for three years. In 1830, he failed the competitive exam to get into École Polytechnique. Urbain then attended Meyer Institute in Paris and studied math for one year under Choquet, the director of Meyer. Urbain ended up placing second nationwide in the Concours General and was finally admitted to École Polytechnique. In 1837, Urbain married Lucille Marie Clothide Choquet, an amateur musician, the daughter of his former teacher. Later, Urbain took a position as a professor of astronomy. When he obtained his teaching position, he became interested in celestial mechanics and took up studying them. Johann Gottfried Gall was born on June 9, 1812, in an isolated house in Dubener Hyde, Germany. He grew up in that house with his two parents. J. Gottfried Gall and Henriette Pannier. At the age of 18, Johann left home to start studying in Berlin. Five years later, in 1835, Johann started working at the Berlin Observatory. Johann worked at the observatory for 16 years and made many accomplishments during his time there, such as discovering the inner dark rings of Saturn and discovering three new comets between 1839 and 1840. In 1766, William Herschel turned his newly made telescope to the heavens and started to study the celestial bodies and chart stars. Around 1774, William started to study the planets in addition to everything he observed. Seven years later, William Herschel was charting stars one March night when something caught his eye. While looking for magnitude 8 stars, or binary stars, William noticed a fuzzy object in his telescope. He observed it over a couple of nights and noticed that it moved against the background of stars. At first, William thought it was a comet, but he later saw that it was moving too slowly to be a comet. The object was finally recognized as the farthest planet from our sun discovered to date, Uranus. Urbain Le Verrier started to study celestial mechanics when he held a position as a professor of astronomy. However, in 1845, Urbain's attention turned to the irregular orbit of Uranus. Urbain tried to explain this, and to do so, he assumed that Uranus's strange orbit was caused by another planetary body beyond Uranus. Using his years of math expertise, Urbain calculated the magnitude and orbital path of his assumed planetary body. At the same time that Urbain was observing Uranus, Johann Gottfried Gall was studying to get his doctrine of philosophy. In 1845, he received his doctrine. He mailed his thesis to Urbain, but did not receive a response until a year later. Urbain had mailed his congratulations and his calculations to Johann. Using Urbain's calculations of the theorized planetary body, Johann went looking for the body. 
within one hour of observing, Johann had found the planetary body within one degree of Urbane's calculations. Johann confirmed the existence of yet another planet in our solar system, Neptune. Uranus is the type of planet known as an ice giant. Uranus's atmosphere is made up of mostly hydrogen and helium gases with a little methane to give the planet a bluish tint. Uranus's equator is almost perpendicular to its orbital path. Uranus has 13 rings, the inner rings are narrow and dark, while the outer rings are brightly colored. Due to Uranus's unusual orientation, Uranus experiences extreme seasons that last 20 years. Average temperatures on Uranus are usually around negative 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Uranus has 27 moons, its diameter is 31,500 miles across, and it is approximately 19.19 .19 astronomical units from the Sun. One day on Uranus is about 17 Earth hours, and one Uranian year is about 84 Earth years. Neptune is also known as an ice giant. Neptune is the windiest planet with supersonic winds, approximately nine times the fastest winds ever recorded on Earth. There is a storm on Neptune's southern hemisphere known as the Great Dark Spot, which is big enough to engulf the Earth. Neptune's magnetic field is about 27 times as powerful as Earth's magnetic field. Neptune has 14 moons. Neptune's atmosphere is a mixture of hydrogen, helium, and a hot combination of water, ammonia, and methane around an Earth-sized core. Neptune is about 30.07 astronomical units from the Sun. One day on Neptune is about 16 Earth hours, and one Neptunian year is about 165 Earth years. The discovery and study of Uranus and Neptune helps us understand our own planet. Understanding the mechanics of other planets such as atmosphere composition, core composition, or even weather can help us to understand the behavior and dynamics of our own atmosphere or the behavior of our own weather. And since some planets such as Uranus and Neptune exhibit mechanics and behaviors that are similar to our own, then we can get an idea of how Earth behaves by studying the mechanics of other planets. Understanding something such as the behavior of our weather can help humans to protect themselves from phenomena such as natural disasters. Understanding the behavior of Earth could also help the environment because understanding things such as the dynamics of the atmosphere could aid humans in the development of metropolitan areas that will in turn limit the effect of carbon emissions on the atmosphere and thus help us to save the Earth. The discovery and study of Uranus and Neptune helps us understand other planets and planemos. If we can understand how planets in our celestial neighborhood work, then we can apply the same knowledge of our own planets and make inferences about how a certain planet or planemo functions based upon prior knowledge. For instance, if we can understand the dynamics of Neptune's atmosphere, then we can make inferences that a planet which behaves similar to Neptune could have relatively the same atmosphere dynamics, which will help us to further understand how that planet works. Understanding how other planets and planemos work could lead to the discovery of another planet that could support life. The discovery of Uranus and Neptune by Herschel, Leverrier, and Gall are important to astronomical history in the sense that the discoveries of these planets helps aid our understanding of space because it helps give us insight on how other heavenly bodies function so that humans can utilize other planets. If Herschel, Leverrier, and Gall hadn't discovered these planets, then we would be lacking insight that could aid in our further exploration of space and celestial bodies. Using the knowledge we have obtained about these planets, in the future we could make inferences about the way that other planets behave, which will help humans to have an easier time exploring, contemplating, and understanding the vast frontier that is the cosmos.